Hi everybody, my name is Heather. Welcome back to the Graphics Fairy. I'm from Ruby and Pearl. Today I'm going to be making a tag with you. This is for Tag Team Friday and I'm going to use this image, this beautiful lady in pink. She is from the premium membership site and I'm using a paper doily and then also this beautiful French script is also from the premium membership site of the Graphics Fairy. And I'm using a manila file folder, uh, just cut a section of that for my base of my tag. And it the file folder had those little scallopy details. So I used them as a template to cut out that shape on the top of the tag. I thought that was a little bit different than just like your normal straight cuts of a tag. So I'm going to use this script. I'm turning it sideways so that the strip so that the script goes up and down vertically. And I really liked the top of that paper because the script was a little bit bigger there and it was just really pretty. I like the stamp that's at, at the top as well. So I'm just inking around the edges. Just if anything overlaps, then it will kind of look a little bit aged. And then I'm just going to glue that part down onto the manila tag like that. Yeah, I really loved how that little scallopy detail was at the top. I thought that was really cute. So I just basically took the file folder and laid it on top of the other, like the plain piece and cut out the, the shape. So then just take your scissors and cut off that excess once you have it glued on. And then I'm going to ink around the edges. I like wanted to get the edges nice and aged looking. So I did use quite a bit of ink throughout this project. And then the next step, we're going to take the lady and you're going to fussy cut her out. And I'm not a huge fan of fussy cutting. I don't, I don't really enjoy doing it. So, um, but this one goes really quickly and I left the camera run so that you could see how fast I got through it so that you wouldn't be, um, turned away from, making this project because of the fussy cutting. Cause I, I don't know if you're like me, I'm just not a big fussy cutter. So yeah. So just be very careful, especially around her, her head. And in particular where her chin is, you can see, I kind of, um, skip that section. I'm going to go back and do that at the end just because I knew that would be the hardest part, but that, that part right there. So just being really careful not to cut too much off of her there. So next I'm going to ink around the edges of her just to get the white off of the, the paper that's like around the edge of her. Also, whenever you're fussy cutting her, make sure you keep all of those, all of the beautiful pink flowers on her hair. Don't cut any of that off. <laughs> so pretty. And then the next thing we are going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glitter. Um, I'm going to use the stickles, which is just, you can get it at your craft store. It's just sort of like a glue that has glitter in it. And you just kind of, it has an applicator right on the bottle. And I'm trying to show you here. It, it doesn't get into focus very well, but I just wanted to show you how it adds that like little bit of sparkle to her flowers. And then I'm going to put a little bit at her waist, um, just kind of like in those little creases there. And it just adds a little bit of shimmer. I think it looks so pretty. And then also at the bottom of her dress as well. So this stickles is kind of like a clear. And I don't know, I just love that little touch of, of shimmer on her. So that takes about an hour to two hours to dry. So I went ahead and made one ahead of time so that it could already be dry. So definitely just kind of set that aside and then come back to it whenever you are ready. So I'm just going to glue her there where the, um, well, actually I'm going to add this book page first because I want to cover up that section of the tag at the bottom that isn't covered. So I'd love to use book pages for stuff like that. I keep them always like right beside me. And whenever I'm making or, or collaging, if I need just a, like a little strip of something to cover up, I usually use book pages. 
So yeah, I'm just putting some glue onto her. I'm going to glue her um, kind of over towards the right of the tag so that that script can kind of still be seen. I really liked that. I also really liked how they're both going kind of like vertically. And then I'm just going to cut off that excess from the platform that she is standing on. So that's basically the front of the tag there. Then I'm going to take the paper doily and I'm just going to use this as sort of like a ruffle on the bottom. So I'm just taking off that one little section there. I'm crinkling it up. I didn't, I wanted to take away that like almost perfect look of the doily. And then I'm just inking right along the, the edge of the doily as well. And I'm going to make two layers of that, that doily. So for the second layer, you can make it a little bit bigger. And then you can see here, I'm just folding it to the size of the tag. I'm going to put this layer behind and then this layer in front and wrap it around. So that's how it's kind of going to go. We just have to glue it into place. So the parts that are just overlapping, you just fold them in until they fit your tag and then glue that on the back. And then take that front piece and glue it to the front. And then you're going to um, wrap it around the back. And then it kind of gives like a little bit of a ruffled look. I love how that turned out. I think that looks really pretty and it's just paper, you know, it's paper lace. So, so cute. You can find that at any craft store or like in the baking section. So I'm really happy with how the tag is turning out. I'm going to add some of the extra script to the back of the tag now. And then um, just wanting to cover the back with some pretty papers. I had a piece of vintage wallpaper and I'm going to use those roses to kind of put up at the top of the back of the tag. And then on this page, on this part, I had this vintage pin and it had some rhinestones. So I want to use it as part of my kind of closure part of the tag. So I'm just taking the pin and putting it through a piece of uh, top dotted tool. And I'm going to insert it in between the layers of the paper on the back. I should have waited to glue that. So I'm just peeling that down so that I can put the, the pin in there. And then I'm going to push it down onto the front. It almost looks like a little, you know, where you would punch your hole for the, for your tag, but only it's a little rhinestone, which I think is so cute. I really love how that turned out. And then I just have a little piece of tool, dotted tool at the top. So the next part I want to do is I want to add a little bit of glass glitter to the edges. And if you're not familiar with glass glitter, I use it a lot. You can find it on Etsy. I like to use a very fine grade. I think this one is a 90, 90 grit grade of silver glass glitter. And glass glitter will tarnish over time, which is actually pretty cool because it kind of turns this like silver, goldish, almost black sometimes. So um, I'm just taking some glue and putting it just here and there along the edges. I'm not covering every inch of the edges of the tag with, with this glitter. I'm just kind of just going here and there. And then if I get too much on, then I'll wipe it off. And glass glitter is a lot easier to use than regular glitter in the fact that um, it doesn't stick to your, I mean, it obviously sticks to you, but not like regular glitter. So it's a little bit easier to wipe off and kind of manipulate like that. So I'm just adding a little bit to the bottom, a little bit here and there to the sides. And, and again, if you don't have glass glitter, you know, you can certainly use regular glitter. And, and I feel like this tag looked really pretty even without the glitter, like just the inking and that little bit of stickles. Oh yeah, I really like that top left, how it's like a little bit more saturated there. I don't know, glass glitter is so super sparkly. 
And it's hard to get come across on the camera, but it really is just so pretty. So I'm just touching up the edges of the tag with a little bit of glitter and that's it. And then she is all finished. She's like a little bit glistening. I love the parts on her dress. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.